I recently repaired my Leatherman Wave. You may have had this problem with your Leatherman at some point, or maybe you got a new one and the, the jaws are stiff and they're hard to open, or sometimes the little uh, wire cutter jaws or teeth right there get a burr on them or they're just new and there's a little friction between them and you find that the friction or the force required to open the jaws is more than the friction of the handle and you end up with a floppy Leatherman that just goes like this and then you have one hand you get your Leatherman out and you can't open the jaws you can't make it open up you got to take two hands get the jaws open before you can grab onto something again and then you try to grab onto it you want to readjust and you have that floppy handle that opens and instead of the jaw opening now, I've already repaired this one and it works so great and it works so perfectly I wanted to make a quick video about how I did that in case uh, you have the problem on your Leatherman where that, that friction of that jaw isn't great enough to make the, the jaw open up. You might run into an instance where the teeth from the wire cutter right here touch each other or have a little burr on them and so when you squeeze something and those teeth bind up and then you go to open it and you have like that floppy jaw and it doesn't open again. If you take a look inside the hinge, you can see this uh, shape on the inside of the hinge right there. And here is the outside of the frame. The end of the outside of the frame right there. And there's a little gap between the hinge and that outside of the frame. Well, that gap gets smaller and smaller and smaller until just before it's open all the way, it should actually start to touch and rub on that inner part of the hinge there and give you some friction before it closes all the way. And if you look, you might see a little tooling mark right on the end of that hinge. And you might even see a little dark spot where it's rubbed some of the oil right there, right in the friction area. And you can adjust the amount of pressure that this puts on that hinge right there. That'll give you that nice that nice feeling of being locked open. And if that is loose right there, it's not the right amount of friction. If it wears out over time or it just didn't come adjusted perfectly, you can adjust that. What I've done is I've just set this in my vise right here, just so it's something that won't uh, mar up the edge of the of the knife, adjust it just the right size, so it just sits in there, it's not pinched or anything, it's just resting against those round parts of the hinge right there, and I'm using this uh, quarter inch, looks like maybe six inch ratchet extension because it has a nice polished end on it right there and it won't nick or mar the surface, and I'm going to put that right, right near the edge of that hinge. I'm going to use a hammer that's not too heavy. I don't want to damage or destroy the Leatherman. I just want to make a slight adjustment right there. And so I'm going to strike that. Just want to move it a half of a thousandth at a time and test it. That's good. Now I can test it. See if I have any friction there. If I like the way that feels. If I want it to be a little tighter. Test that again, do that a few times until you feel that exact right amount of friction that you want there on that handle. Now I can see that they both are about even. You can kind of hear them two little clicks as they bottom out. They're not really snapping into place, but they're going to bottom out here. And that comes all the way over and then touches right there. That one looks good. I'm going to test this one. That one could be a little bit tighter, but it's okay. I think put one more tap on that one, on that side. Maybe a little bit tighter.
All right, that's the fix. And if you have a you know a Leatherman with a floppy handle like that, you'll like that. I was so uh, happy to have those fixed. I see on YouTube people like to show that their everyday carry is. This is one I was carrying for the last month or so as I lost my charge TTI. So I had this wave that I've been using. I use it. I carry it everywhere every day and I use it several times a day as a working tool. This is what I normally carry every day. Here's my my new charge. I also carry every day Leatherman Crunch. I like to have this available in case I need to um, you know grab the nut on the other side of a bolt. And uh, I find this tool works pretty great. You can really get a lot of clamping force with that. I also carry a rechargeable flashlight and a blade. I like this blade. This is a Bessie blade. You carry extras in the handle right here. For some tasks, that's just uh, works better than pulling out this knife. And the knife is great to have, but some tasks I use, I need something that's razor sharp. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you can fix your Leatherman.